Hello guys, Packin here. I don't see a lot of videos in terms of how to crimp um, JST uh, connectors that are um, really small. And I'm talking about like this small with a wire. See my finger? That small. So uh, anyways, I'm going to make a quick video on how to, how to uh, crimp onto these little wires now the easiest thing is like if you order these in bulk um, that's pre-wired you can always uh, snip them and and solder the respective wires but I don't like to mix wires with PTFE grade wire so I want to have everything uniform on one so anyways um, if you have one of these little bags that you order in bulk like I did, uh, you may run into issue on uh, how to solder these little uh, this, these these little leads. So I already did uh, three. I did I did this one. It's a four. And there's another one for the LED. It's a four. So you get the idea. All right. So anyways, to do this, you need to. Put it back. You want to make sure you uh, crimp. Uh, make sure you uh, cut a perimeter, which is about a hairline. You want it to make sure. Make sure you do not detach this. This is this is what you need. You do not want to detach these little legs out. You want to keep it in its base so it's easier to hold. And you must have nails because nails allows you to help grab onto. Things that are so tiny, so it's very, very much recommended. So you want it to uh, make it like it's over here, so you can focus. See how the white uh, wire is hitting the back leg, which is the two over here. You want it to hold over here while the other two at the front is right there. You don't want to have the wire stick all the way out. You want to cut it about this much. What I have here is fine. So I've already pre-cut. And I use this um, this crimp. And uh, you want to use the point, point oh seven, uh for the first one. See, so the first one will be over here. And then you want to use the 1.0 after at the very back. The very back section, the very back section would be the 1.0. So, first off, let's do the 0.7. All right, 0.7. This is very tricky with the phone. So, you want to move it up a little bit. Right. Let's straighten it up. You gotta be careful not to twist it. It's very easy to twist. So you wanna all the way back okay do one more time you want to make sure that this back end is not hitting the the one on front the nub that is sticking out always take your time with it do not rush it there you go. You crimp it hard. And don't don't uh, squeeze it too tight. Otherwise, you'll risk breaking the the wire. And there you have it. You want to crimp the first one. That's what you want. All right. And make sure you. Uh, Take the pliers and make sure you fold 
the other two ends the two ends that are more like a v-shape you want it to squeeze it just a little bit just a little bit so that you can use the crimp afterwards but you just want to make sure the v-shape is parallel now so you just want to make sure it's in the correct orientation there you go so you want it parallel v-shape no more v-shape and what you do next is that you take the the base and you break it apart take your time with it you don't want to uh, rush it otherwise you risk pulling the whole work you did out and you miss and you risk damaging the small stranded wires so you just have to rock it back and forth until it comes off there you go and next part is that you want to tighten up the the white wire and that's when you use the the 1.0 you want to use the 1.0 at the back not for the front the 1.0 at the back like that you want to take your time with it. Do not rush it. Okay. Squeezing it. See how this is um, not straight? So to do this, you have to use the plier and clip it out. Use your nails to push to push it up. There, I push it up. That's the reason why you don't tighten all the way yet. You want to make little final adjustments before you finalize. Okay, looks good. So, strain out the white wire. See? There you go. You have a straight end part. And you take the 1.0 and you finalize the crimp. And you do it a little bit tight. And there you go. Nice and straight. you want to squeeze it squeeze the sides because you want to fit into that white GST connector the four pin connector so you want to no soldering involved have to squeeze it to make it vertical crimp it again just a little bit just so that it has depth shape okay and there you have it and uh, what I do is I twist the wire so that it has better security. Um, black. Okay, there you go. I don't know exactly which way. White goes at the very end. Stick it in a little hole like that. There you go. Now it's all in secure. You don't see any metal leads coming out. You check the other side. It's perfect. So that I can use this connector 
and connect it with a, uh, an LED module that I created with the uh, with the regular JST so I made sure it's color, color coded um, unfortunately I didn't match the white with the red so white is now red yellow green black respectively and make sure the orientation is correct and then you plug it in and then there you go and uh, that's how you make a custom JST you can always uh, double check your work by using a multimeter and check the continuity um, for me I know that this is going to work I've been doing this for a pretty long time so uh, you just have to pull this out there you go you see that the light is on this is just a um, auxiliary 